So if you want to start coding with Python, it's actually not that complex, right? All you have to do is go to python.org, like I have here. You go to download, uh, and then you download the latest version for your OS. Uh, in my case, it's python 3.8. And then you can just launch the package. Um, I'm just going to do it here on my laptop. I just install it. All right. Locally, my password. So it's going to install uh, all the default pack, uh, packages for Python. Um, it's going to install the actual Python program. And then after that, I should be able to just you know open the terminal. Uh, here, it's just giving me that. Uh, I should be able to open the terminal and then start you know, typing Python, and I should have Python 3.8, right? So here it's telling me the insertion is completed. So I close this one, I can move the installer to the trash, and then if I open the terminal, uh, and I look at the Python you know, uh, I have available, I should be able to see Python 3.8, right? And then I can just you know, start the program, and then now I can use Python like that. So now, um, if you start to work on different projects with Python, uh, you might need to install different mo uh, packages or different modules, right? Um, or you might need to use different versions of Python. For one project, you need Python 2. For another project, you need Python 3. And it can get you know, quite complex to have, as you can see, different versions of Python installed on your computer and knowing which one to use when. So to make it easier, what you could do is you could create what they call virtual environments. And when you create a virtual environment, you're basically creating like a, a, a virtual uh, workspace in which you will install the proper version of Python you need for a project and in which you'll be able to install all the different modules that you need for one particular project. And then if you do that, you could have isolated workspaces for each of your projects um, and you don't have any conflict in between the different projects, right? So uh, that's something that's actually built in into Python and I'll show you exactly how that works. So uh, let's say I go back here. Uh, here I created a, a folder and I have uh, one Python script here, list APs. Uh, this Python is uh, actually connects to the MIST uh, dashboard and then list the APs I have currently connected on my MIST uh, dashboard, right? So it makes an API call. I actually made a YouTube video on, on how I did this. So if you guys are interested, I put a link uh, so you can, uh, you can watch it. So here, if I want to execute this script, right, uh, I could simply, you know, write Python. Uh, if I want to use the new one, I've just installed 3.8 and then I, 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 uh, I, I give the script as the argument and then here it's not working. It's telling me that uh, you know, one of the module I use in this script is not found. Okay, so let's create a virtual environment in which we will install all the, re the required module to be able to run that specific script. Okay, so to create a virtual environment, uh, you can use the following command. Uh, so you start by Python, right? And use the Python version that you want to use in your virtual environment, right? So if I want to create a virtual environment for Python 3.8, I'm going to use the Python 3.8 version, right? And then right after that, I can do a minus M virtual environment. And then you specify the name of your virtual environment. So here I'm just going to call it uh, Python 3.8. Um, and then I call it uh, lab virtual environment. Right? And just like that, it should create your virtual environment. Now, if you list the files you have in that directory, you can see that I have a new folder. It's called, you know, p38lab uh, virtual environment. So it takes the name that I've defined for my virtual environment. Okay. Now, if I want to activate that that virtual environment and start start you know installing module, executing some scripts in that specific virtual environment, I have to activate it, right? And to activate that virtual environment. Uh, you can use the following command. It's it's a source, and then you go into the folder 3.8 lab and then you go to the bin activate, right? 
and this will activate the virtual environment. And as you can see, my prompt has changed and it's telling me that I am now part, you know, inside that virtual environment and I can, you know, start to install different module and execute some scripts. Okay, so let's try to execute this script, this script again. Um, so Python. So here, first of all, I wanted to show you which version of Python we're using in that virtual environment, right? So because we created it using the Python 3.8 command, we should be able to use Python 3.8 directly within that virtual environment. So if I do a Python uh, minus V, here it's telling me that the version I'm using is Python 3.8, okay? So now if I use Python without specifying anything, it's going to default to using Python 3.8, okay? So you'll see me using Python from now on, but it's just going to use Python 3.8. And then I can list my um, my script here, and same, I have the same error, right? It's telling me that, you know, it's trying to import uh, the module uh, named request, and it cannot find it, so it fails, right? So what I have to do now is I have to install the request module. Right? And to do that, you can use a command called pip. So you can do pip install and specify the name of that specific module, and Python will just install it in that specific virtual environment. Okay, So I can do pip install, and then here's requests. And you can just say go, it's going to install it. Here it's giving me a warning saying that, you know, I might want to upgrade my pip. So uh, I can do that. Um, for that specific virtual environment, right? And then here, I have installed the request module. So if I try again to launch the script, let's see what happens. So Python's, and then list AP. Now it runs, and it's telling me I have these two APs and so on, okay? So here what we did is we created a virtual environment specifically for that you know, little script. We install the module, uh, and then we executed that uh, script within the module, and everything is, you know, stays within that virtual environment using Python 3.8. Okay. If you want to exit and go back to where we were, uh, you can just use the deactivate uh, command, and it will go back, you know, to not using the virtual environment. Okay. Let me create another one here uh, because I won't have a blank virtual environment, so I can show you guys what happened in Atom when we start to use virtual environment Atom later on. So once again, the command to create a virtual environment, so use the Python um, that you want to use in that specific uh, virtual environment, uh, minus M, vomp, and then I'll call it um, Python 3.8 blank. Right? If, we, if I do that, I should have another folder. And here you can see I have my blank and I have the, the one I created for my lab. Okay, so pretty easy and you can start doing that right away. It took me five minutes and I'm pretty much up and running uh, to start using Python and virtual lab, uh, lab environment. Now, um, I wanted to show you how we can integrate that into Atom. And Atom is just a piece of software you can use to uh, uh, to edit your code, right? A code editor. So if you go to, if I go back here and then I go to the website, uh, it's atom.io. Uh, you'll see you can download it here and then you can install it. And Atom is a very clean, minimalist type of design application on top of which you install uh, packages to enhance whatever you're trying to do, right? So I'll show you, you know, a couple of things you can do to get ready to. Uh, write Python scripts, execute Python scripts within the code editor, and also how to integrate those virtual environments so you can actually choose you know, which in virtual environments you want to use directly from the Atom application. So you, you don't have to go necessarily back and forth between your terminal and the code editor. Okay, so let me open uh, Atom. All right, so when you open it, you'll usually have this welcome page and, and so on. Um, what I want to show you here is uh, the script. We will open the script that I just executed. All right, so I'll do file uh, open. We'll open that list ap.py script, and you'll see that you know it's. I'll put it on the left. 
Um, it's a typical uh, code editor. You can, you, you can change the theme if you like dark mode better. You can do whatever you want. So here I have, I can actually edit it, save it, and everything will just work fine. Now, if I want to execute that specific code within the application, you have to install the package, right? Uh, so if you go to install package here on the right, or if I just close everything and I show you how that works from the settings, uh, what you can do is you can go back to Atom preferences, and then you have something on the left here called packages. And here you will need to install a package that's called script. Right, and you'll see it's done already like 2.5 million times. Uh, it's used not only for Python, but it's used to execute a whole bunch of different codes within the application. So pretty much everyone uses it. So you install it here. You can see I already have it installed. And once you have it installed and you go back to your script, uh, you can go to packages at the top and you should find it here. And then here you can, you have different options and the options we want here, this one run script. Right? It just, if we do this, it's just going to run the script. Um, and here, you know, it's telling me that you know, it doesn't know the request module because it's going to run the script with the default Python that you have on your OS. So it, it's trying with the uh, Python 3.8 and doesn't have that module installed, so it, it fails. Okay? So now, how do I integrate my virtual environment that I created and in which I installed the proper module to be able to execute that same script, but within you know, a, a confined virtual environment. So to do that, you'll need to install another package, right? So if you go back to settings, package, and the second package or the one you need to install, uh, it's called Atom Python uh, Virtual Env. Right, so you have it right here, Atom Python Virtual M. Right, so you can see I already installed it, uh, but you should have the install button. You install it, and then this will allow you to pretty much select a, a, a specific virtual environment uh, for a specific you know script you're working on. So you can actually execute that script within that virtual environment. Very easy. So how do we how do we set up it? Set up this um, uh, package. So once everything is installed, you go back to the settings, and here what you have to do, the important uh, 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 step, is to tell the, uh, the package where you have your virtual environment, right? So if I go back to my, um, you know, my terminal, and if I, you know, here, this is where I have my two virtual environment I just created, um, what I have to tell the, the package is, you know, where it is located, so you can, you know, take the path, right? Uh, here, I'm actually just going to start here because if you go back to uh, the application, you can see that they're using the home variable. So home for me is users friends for address. So I can just you know, skip that and then I can paste the, uh, the path of where my virtual environments are. Don't forget the slash at the end, right? So just do this. Uh, and then after that, you can go back to your script, and if you go back to packages, you should have a new one called virtual n. And then here you can select. And when you click on select, it's going to go in that specific folder, and it's going to search for all your virtual environment, and it should list all of them. So you can select the one you want. So if I click on select, here you can see that I have access to two virtual environment. And I just selected, um, this one, the, the P38 lab on, okay? Um, so if I select this guy, you'll see that it's telling me here the virtual environment changed successfully. And at the bottom, you can also see here that you know it's selecting this uh, virtual environment. You can even click here if you want to switch to a different virtual environment. Or they have a keyboard shortcut, which is Control-Alt-V, which, which will bring you to the same uh, place. Right? And then I can go back here and go to package, script, run script, and try to run it now within that virtual environment. And because I have all the modules that we previously installed and everything is working fine, here works as well. And you can see the output here at the bottom. Okay? Uh, one quick uh, tip here, if you want to run the code directly within the application without having to go 
all the time to package script and so on. You can use the common I uh, shortcut and we'll just run the script for you. All right. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like it and share it with people that you think would be interested in. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later.